God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We groan in pain as we await the redemption of our bodies. I said, I will be watchful of my ways, for fear I should sin with my tongue. I will put a curb on my lips when the wicked man stands before me. I was dumb, silent and still. His prosperity stirred my grief. My heart was burning within me. At the thought of it, the fire blazed up, and my tongue burst into speech. O Lord, you have shown me my end. How short is the length of my days. Now I know how fleeting is my life. You have given me a short span of days. My life is as nothing in your sight. A mere breath, the man who stood so firm. A mere shadow, the man passing by. A mere breath, the riches he hoards, not knowing who will have them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We groan in pain as we await the redemption of our bodies. Hear and answer my prayer, O Lord. Let me not weep in vain. And now, Lord, what is there to wait for? In you rests all my hope. Set me free from all my sins. Do not make me the taunt of the fool. I was silent, not opening my lips, because this was all your doing. Take away your scourge from me. I am crushed by the blows of your hand. You punish man's sins and correct him. Like the moth, you devour all he treasures. Mortal man is no more than a breath. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, turn your ear to my cry. Do not be deaf to my tears. In your house I am a passing guest a pilgrim like all my fathers. Look away that I may breathe again before I depart to be no more. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hear and answer my prayer, O Lord. Let, Let me, me not, not weep in, in vain. vain. I have put all my trust in God's never-failing mercy. Why do you boast of your wickedness, you champion of evil, planning ruin all day long, your tongue like a sharpened razor, you master of deceit? You love evil more than good, lies more than truth. You love the destructive word, you tongue of deceit. For this God will destroy you and remove you forever, he will snatch you from your tent and uproot you from the land of the living. The just shall see and fear. They shall laugh and say, So this is the man who refused to take God as his stronghold, but trusted in the greatness of his wealth and grew powerful by his crimes. But I am like a growing olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the goodness of God for ever and ever. I will thank you for evermore, for this is your doing. I will proclaim that your name is good in the presence of your friends. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have put all my trust in, in God's, God's never-failing never mercy. mercy. I put my trust in the word of the Lord. All my hope is in him. From the Book of Wisdom. Hear, therefore, kings, and understand. Learn, you magistrates of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you who are in power over the multitude 
and lord it over throngs of peoples, because authority was given you by the Lord and sovereignty by the Most High, who shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels, because, though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly and did not keep the law nor walk according to the will of God, terribly and swiftly shall he come against you, because judgment is stern for the exalted. For the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princes, are my words addressed, that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and those learned in them will have ready a response. Desire, therefore, my words. Long for them, and you shall be instructed. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of men's desire. He who watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of her is the perfection of prudence, and he who for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care, because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways, and meets them with all solicitude. For the first step toward discipline is a very earnest desire for her. Then, Care for discipline is love of her. Love means the keeping of her laws. To observe her laws is the basis for incorruptibility, and incorruptibility makes one close to God. Thus the desire for wisdom leads up to a kingdom. If, then, you find pleasure in throne and scepter, you princes of the peoples, honor wisdom, that you may reign as kings forever. Now what wisdom is, and how she came to be, I shall relate, and I shall hide no secrets from you, but from the very beginning I shall search out and bring to light knowledge of her nor shall I diverge from the truth. Neither shall I admit consuming jealousy to my company, because that can have no fellowship with wisdom. A great number of wise men is the safety of the world, and a prudent king the stability of his people. So take instruction from my words to your prophet. With pure intention I learned wisdom, and ungrudgingly I now share it. For wisdom is an unfailing treasure for all peoples. Wretched is the man who rejects wisdom. God loves only the man who lives with wisdom. For wisdom is an unfailing treasure for all peoples. From a letter to the Corinthians by St. Clement I, Pope and Martyr. Let us put on the unity of mind, thinking humble thoughts, exercising self-control, 
keeping ourselves far from all backbiting and slander, being righteous in deed and not in word only. Scripture says, He who says much hears much in his own turn, or does the easy talker think that he is righteous? It is our duty, then, to be eager to do good, for everything is from God. He warns us, See, the Lord is coming, and the reward he brings is before him, for paying each according to his work. He urges us who believe in him with all our heart not to be idle or careless in any good work. Our boasting and our confidence must rest in him. Let us be subject to his will. Let us look carefully at the whole host of his angels. They stand ready and serve his will. Scripture says, 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him, and a thousand thousand served him, and cried out, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole creation is full of his glory. We, too, dutifully gathered together in unity of mind, should cry out to him continuously as with one voice, so as to share in his great and glorious promises. It is written, Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, man's heart has not conceived what great things have been prepared for those who wait for him. Beloved, how blessed, how wonderful are God's gifts. Life with immortality, glory with righteousness, truth with confidence, self-control with holiness, all these are the gifts that fall within our understanding. What then are those gifts that are in store for those who wait for him? Only the most holy creator and father of the ages knows their greatness and their splendor. We should then strive with the greatest zeal to be found among the number of those who await him so that we may share in the promised gifts. How will this be, beloved, if our mind is fixed on God through faith, if we are diligent in seeking what is pleasing and acceptable to him, if we fulfill what is according to his blameless will and follow the way of truth, casting aside from ourselves all that is unholy. Lord, show me your ways. Teach me to walk in your footsteps. Guide me in your truth. You are the God of my salvation, and I wait for you all day long. Look on me, Lord, and have pity on me, for I am poor and alone. You are the God of my salvation, and I wait for you all day long. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, strengthen our faith, hope, and love. May we do with loving hearts what you ask of us and come to share the life you promise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.